With all my heart, with all my soul, with all my strength, I love you, Lord. With all my heart, with all my mind, with all my muscles, and I find that I'm just loving you with life you give to me. <gasps> Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You caught us in the middle of a song. You caught us in the middle of a song. How are you doing this week? Lucy brought a friend with her today. Ba -bum. Kitty. Okay, guys, we have a very <laughs> we've got a very important lesson for you this week. This yeah. week we are going to learn about hiding something in our hearts. <gasps> you wanna hide something in your heart? Yeah! I know what you're thinking, Miss Caitlin, Miss Caitlin! How can we hide something in our hearts? How are we supposed to get inside our heart? Hmm, I have a, a trick. secret button on your kitten's foot? No, Beep. there's no secret buttons to get inside your heart. But I have a trick for us to learn. Let's go hear how Jesus was able to resist temptation and he used something very powerful. Let's go. Hey guys, before we read our story about when Jesus was tempted in the desert, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, do you know what the word temptation means? Lucy, what do you think the word temptation means? It means you're like tempted by something that you want. That you want something maybe that you want. Maybe you're tempted uh, to want to do something. Or how about... Agreed. Sometimes food or snacks that maybe you shouldn't eat right away, like maybe you've got a bunch of Halloween candy left over and you're tempted to eat it all, but you know it will give you a tummy ache and not be good for you. Those could be a temptation too. Or maybe you are in a fight with somebody like your brother and maybe you're tempted to say something mean or do something mean to them. What is a good way to battle temptation. What do you think a good way is to battle temptation? This goes back to when I talked about hiding something in our hearts. Let's hear how Jesus battled temptation. Okay, my friends, our story today is called Tested in the Desert. This story is from the Bible, Matthew 4, Mark 1, and Luke 4. Jesus spent 40 days and 40 nights in the dry, hot desert as a test. He ate nothing and was desperately hungry. Oh my goodness, could you imagine not eating for 40 days and 40 nights? I bet you'd be so hungry. I bet you'd be so hungry if you just didn't eat for a whole day. The devil came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, surely you can do anything. Why don't you tell these stones to become bread? Jesus answered calmly, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but on the very word that comes from the mouth of God. Jesus knew that food wasn't the most important thing in life. The devil took Jesus to the top of the temple and told him to throw himself off, for surely the angels would rescue him. But Jesus said, It is also written, do not put the Lord your God to test. From high, a high mountain, the devil offered him all the kingdoms of the world if Jesus would simply bow down and worship him. But Jesus replied, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. When the devil realized that he could not tempt Jesus, he gave up and left him. And then guess what happened? God sent his angels to help Jesus, help him recover. So Jesus was tempted quite a few times by the devil, right? With the breads to stone, when he told him to throw himself off of the mountain, when um, he told him he'd give him all the kingdoms in the land. But each time Jesus said, it is written. Written? What do you think was written? The Bible. And what do we find in the Bible? 
Those words. The words. The words in the Bible are scriptures. And this is where we can start hiding things in our heart. Jesus hid scriptures inside his heart, which means he memorized them and took them inside him and hid them in his heart so that when he was tempted, he could say scriptures to battle the temptation. I have a scripture book. So Lucy had her scripture book. A good way to start hiding scriptures in your heart is maybe writing them down. We have a fun project where we're gonna write a scripture in our hearts. So, but a good way to memorize scripture is maybe writing them down. This is Lucy's prayer scripture memory verse. And if you look at it, she's got all sorts of scriptures and different prayers in here for things and different scriptures she's memorized. But the funny thing is, if you turn to the first page, she has the scripture we're going to memorize today. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I have hidden your word in my heart that, that I, I might, might not sin against you. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. David wrote Psalms 119.11. So when we write, she wrote the scripture down and she memorized it. So she hid those words from the Bible inside her heart so that we won't sin against God. We won't make bad choices. I know sometimes we are gonna make bad choices. Sometimes we might give in to temptation and God will always forgive us, but we also need to practice not giving in to temptation, to writing scriptures in our book and hiding them in our hearts. Okay guys, so for this craft, you will need a piece of paper, something to write or color with, and some scissors. First things first, we're gonna make a heart. So but we can... if you're using scissors and you're one of the younger kids, you need an adult to help you. Very true, you need an adult's help if you're too little to use scissors by yourself. All right, we've got our paper, and the first thing we're gonna do is make a heart. So we need to fold our paper. Lucy, you wanna help? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna fold our paper in half, just like this. And if you can't get it perfectly, that's okay. Yep, that's just fine. And if you also need some help, that's okay too. All right, now we're going to pick up our pencil or whatever you have to draw with. Today we have markers. You're going to, on the side that you folded, you're going to make something that looks like a teardrop. See how that kind of looks like a teardrop in the rain? Now you'll take your scissors and be very careful. And you're going Make to sure cut. Make sure to close your lids mm -hmm. if you have markers. So they don't dry out. And you're going to cut along the line you just drew. If you need a grown-up's help, feel free to ask somebody for help. Be very careful with those scissors. Can I use your scissors? Sure. Because I can only use two fingers. Please. All right. And when you open it up, you should have a heart. And if it's a little hard for you to cut around the circle, ask a parent. And be very careful of your fingers. Because you could cut yourself. And snip. Beautiful job. Open it up. And I have a heart. Now we are going to write our scripture verse in our heart. We are going to hide God's word in our heart. Let go. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you here our scripture verse. And we are going to write that scripture verse inside of our hearts. So I, the letter I, have H A. 
V E hidden H I D D E and your word Y O U R your word W O R D in I N my M Y heart H E A R T so S O I the letter I might M I G H T not N O T sin S I N against A G A I N S T against U. And if that's too hard for you to write, feel free to just write the scripture reference. Psalms P S A L M 1 19 dot dot 11. So then you always know where to go in the Bible to find your scripture. I hope you all have a wonderful week and remember to hide God's word in your heart. Bye.